hello aries welcome back i hope you guys are doing well this is going to be a reading for aries sun moon rising venus and north node please remember to flip and switch the roles guys it could be talking about someone else in your energy also remember to just take what resonates and leave what does not fit okay so i um shuffled the oracle deck that i'm going to use today for you guys and i came up with um good luck good fortune and blessings okay then we have sucker foolish victimize Hmm. date night romance going out and then we have fear worry and doubts okay so aries it looks like somebody here wants to take you on a date <laughs> or you have a date night coming up i don't know maybe you already have one planned with your person that you're dealing with now I, I don't know maybe you've met somebody new okay that's what i was picking up too but there's fears and worries around this date night i feel like somebody has something planned for you they have flowers for you yada 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 but um they're scared i don't know they did something obviously it says foolish somebody here was doing something that was foolish but they could be a victim or something like that they were i don't know bottom of the deck it says save yourself you are enough solo path fun and games not serious playing games yeah secrets more to be revealed okay so maybe that's that is what they've done <laughs> They kept a lot of secrets here. They didn't want anything serious with you. So now they want something serious. So here they come trying to take you out and shit like that. And you chose the solo path here. You chose to save yourself and remove yourself from the bullshit. Okay, but let's see what's going on. Let's see what's going on for Aries. Spirit guides, angels, clarify this energy here for Aries. You have some good luck coming towards you. Good fortune, blessings, all that. Bottom of the deck, yeah, king of cups, yeah. And this is you, queen of swords. Then we have the queen of pentacles, damn that's you as well though queen of swords queen of pentacles you're trying to protect what you got you got too much to lose here you guys could be very good mother figures or father figures here <clears throat> okay and you said set, you're setting boundaries for yourself and just focusing on your money okay but this king, king of cups here has feelings for you i feel like they've been hiding these feelings okay this person could be going through a divorce as well they could be they could be trying to get a divorce from somebody but let's see what's going on for aries spirit messages here for aries clarify this energy please okay yeah queen of wands then we have the judgment yep could be dealing with the scorpio libra what else for aries okay yeah ten of swords yeah i feel like you've let go of something or a situation you you healed yourself you're moving on okay and yeah, ten of, ten of Wands upright with the Ten of Swords in reverse. That's you. You're moving on. You're you're clear of anything that's getting on your fucking nerves or trying to weigh you down. And this person's burdened. So it looks like whatever they did to you came back on them. Now they want to take you out. Now they want to go out with you. Okay. Okay. But spirit is here guiding your path. You're having a. You're going through an awakening process. Okay. Somebody wants to wants your forgiveness. Somebody from your past wants your forgiveness. They're going through a karmic lesson or they went through karma. And you're moving into a time of blessings and good fortune here. That's giving me like the will of fortune energy. Things are shifting for you here. I feel like you're forgiving somebody and you moved on. That's exactly what you did. Hmm. I'm trying to figure out, we're going to see who this Queen of Wands is, but they're under sucker, foolish, victimized. So, you know, the Queen of Wands could be a bitch. I don't know. But let's see what else for Aries. We're going to clarify and see. Three of Wands in reverse. Yeah. Yep. Things have been delayed here. A lot of things have been delayed for you, Aries. Um, I feel like there's something from the past here that you, you're needing to forgive. And I feel like you are going through that process of doing so but let's just keep going what else for aries okay yeah four swords so this could be you this queen of wands could be you here you're the victim here that's why you're moving forward what else for aries okay could be dealing with the cancer and the uh, ten of pentacles bottom of the deck yeah ten of cups wow ace of pentacles Mm, the devil, the hermit, the ace of cups. Yeah, no. Somebody here, somebody's getting new love here. You're getting a new commitment or something solid is coming in for you. But, um. So, yeah, with the three of wands in reverse, I feel like somebody missed the opportunity. They're getting karma for not really choosing the path that they're supposed to be on. Okay, they want your forgiveness. I feel like you have, you have forgiven them already. 
okay but this this here has been delayed whatever your your life whatever you're going through right now has been delayed you see a, there's a lack of progress in something here i feel like somebody's lacking the confidence to come towards you too they've been thinking about this for a while here you're beautiful you're sexy like you got shit going for yourself you don't have time for this and you're going straight into abundance here somebody here sees you as the ten of pentacles they want a commitment with you but they're they're worried they're scared they could have a fear of commitment here they could be fearing that you found somebody else or you're moving on into another commitment. Somebody is stressed. Somebody is scared about this date night. Somebody is worried. I don't know. Let's see. Let's see what's, what's going on. This person wants to take you out, but they... I feel like they have a lot of secrets here. A lot of things that's weighing them down. I feel like it's just their feelings. Their emotions for you is weighing them down because they haven't expressed them or they did you dirty here. Just period. Just period. But you're heading into a time of wealth, prosperity. Whatever you're, whatever you're investing into your business, I feel like it's going to flourish here. Let's see. What is this um, judgment card for Aries? Yeah, Ten of Pentacles again. Yep, King of Cups again. <laughs> Somebody probably wants your forgiveness for them being stuck in a marriage or something or, or not telling you about the fact that they were married or whatever. What's this judgment right here? What's this judgment? This energy, y'all, I swear. Yeah, two of cups, look. <laughs> Somebody here is in love with you. They love you. This person loves you. They can't let you go. That's why this three of wands is in reverse. They can't let you go. You're part of this person's past because they made you their past. They put you there. Just period. But it failed. This relationship here failed. So they want your forgiveness. Whoever this is. This person has <clears throat> awakened to this love here. What's this two of cups with the judgment? Yeah, page of pentacles. Yep. Somebody could want to come and uh, give you a gift. Okay, that could be their you know their way of showing that they're trying to make up with you okay this could be a younger earth sign towards virgo capricorn but some of you guys you're starting over you're starting new maybe you guys are already connecting to a soulmate energy okay and you guys are like planning and planting seeds with each other you know talk <clears throat> talking about long term but this page of pentacles is good news and love though upright is good news good messages and love here when it comes down to love it looks like this is about love or a partnership here so there's communication with the page for some of you guys you're getting a new job here okay there's new jobs coming in for you but this is like a gift or something like that coming i feel like somebody wants to give you some type of jewelry or something flowers or they're gonna have something here in their hands i feel like it's gonna be tangible but also the page of pentacles is somebody that's loyal they're committed or they want long-term commitment anyway so they're gonna put the work in and plan for it and things like that <laughs> so i feel like somebody changed up their ways here or they, they at least trying to i guess what's the queen of wands right here for aries queen of wands this queen of wands Hmm, the Empress in Reverse. Could be dealing with the Taurus Libra. What's the Queen of Wands with the Empress in Reverse? So this could be somebody's baby mama, baby daddy, or a feminine, yeah, the lovers. They could be, could have been a choice between two here. This Empress in Reverse is somebody's bitter ass, insecure ass, baby mama, or baby daddy. Could be dealing with the Gemini. And the Queen of Wands is you, Aries. You are confident, you're beautiful, you're bold here. Yeah, somebody put you in competition with the fucking loser. With this Empress in Reverse, that's a karmic feminine this period yeah the tower that shit came crashing down who's this empress in reverse this person here has kids with this person or something like that or this could be their own mother or father what's the empress in reverse yeah look wow the emperor <laughs> that's you aries <laughs> so this could be your masculine here that was involved with a empress in reverse somebody here that was a fake empress somebody here is, is very petty I feel like somebody's been very petty. 
Okay, and there was a choice between two, and they chose to fuck with this Empress in reverse and let you go ahead with your sexy ass. <laughs> But I can't, yeah, five of wands want to keep popping out. That's competition. Rivalry, fighting, arguing, doing a little petty shit. Yeah, but I feel like somebody is taking their, their power back from a situation. Yeah, your masculine chose the wrong lover is what it looks like. <clears throat> hmm. What's the ton of wands? This energy is so annoying, man, because it's like, what the fuck? Fucking, I, I don't know. What's the Ten of Wands for Aries? Yeah, the High Priestess. What's this Ten? Yeah, the Secret. Whatever they're hiding is burdening the fuck out of them. It's burdening them so bad. This person, I know they got you some gifts here. <laughs> they did. What's the Ten of Wands with the High Priestess? Yeah, the Ten of Cups. This person is hiding a family. Yeah, hiding a bitter ass energy. Yeah, this person here knows that you're their Ten of Cups, though. They know that uh, they make you happy. You make them, well, I don't know. They they made you happy, I guess. Y'all, Some of y'all can still feel that way about your person. I get it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, I guess it's just annoying when you keep picking up on this fucking energy because people don't want to get their shit together. Like, I, I don't know. That shit is fucking annoying. It's a nuisance. And it's very redundant. Like, when are you finally going to get your shit together so you can go down your right path? Why do you keep wanting to deal with bitter-ass en energies? And thinking somebody's supposed to wait on you and 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 no no especially when you didn't have to lie in the, in the first place it's fucking stupid but anywho ten of wands with the high priest could be dealing with the pisces or cancer yeah whatever this is um is it's weighing them down here i feel like it's their feelings for you they see that they can have a whole family with you they could be emotionally fulfilled with you You make this person happy they're the whole ten of cups here definitely emotional fulfillment here some of you guys could be tarot readers or you could be a psychic here so you already know this person's secrets anyway, but they want to keep hiding it, hiding and shit. It's fucking cowardly. What's this Ten of Swords in reverse? Four of Pentacles. What's this Ten of Swords in reverse with the Four of Pentacles? Five of Swords in reverse. Yeah. This person here wants to come out of conflict with you or there's an ending to a conflict here. Just period. Somebody doesn't want to fight anymore. They're accepting defeat. They're de they feel defeated. And it looks like they are because you won. And it wasn't even a competition. I feel like somebody lost at their own fucking game here. That's what happened. They lost at their own game. Now they're scared. They're worried. They're fearful here. And it's because you're the Ten of Swords in reverse. You've moved on. This person could be struggling financially, but I feel like the Four of Pentacles is them holding on to you. This is them holding on to you. They don't want to let you go here. They want to take control over the situation. Or they try to control this situation here and things went left instead of letting things go like uh flow. But I feel like whoever this past energy is was holding on to them as well, being petty or being stupid. What's this four of pentacles right here? Yeah, Queen of Swords. Didn't I say that? So this so this four of pentacles with this Queen of Swords in reverse could be this petty energy. This could be this could be your person's baby mama or baby daddy and their mother and father that's like against them in some type of way. Queen of Swords in reverse is somebody... This, Taurus had the Queen of Swords in reverse. This could be somebody that's gossiping or, or spreading rumors or spreading lies and shit like that. Or somebody's just very bitter, very mean. Not kind at all. So this is somebody that's in someone's family or somebody that somebody's married to or get, going through a nasty-ass divorce with. But this person here is just money-hungry as well. So, so this person here is fearing. Your person is fearing that this Queen of Swords is going to um, step in. And get in the way of what they're trying to build with you. That's what they're they're fearing here. This damn Queen of Swords. And uh, bitch, ain't nobody scared of this hoe but you. <laughs> like, ain't nobody scared of this hoe. Like, for real. You can't even take nobody like this serious. But I guess because they were with them for long. And this person could even be abusive. So that could, that could be something here. Somebody was abusive. Especially verbally. Hmm. Oh man, oh man. What's this three of wands in reverse? So what's this queen of wands? I mean queen of swords that's holding on to this uh your person here, it looks like. And they're instilling fear and doubt in your person. Yeah, this this person is very much so malicious. They they do mean shit on purpose. They're a loser. What's this three of wands in reverse? Yeah, six of wands in reverse. Yeah, something was not victorious. Yeah. 
there was a lack of progress in something there was a failed relationship or whatever that somebody tried to do it failed miserably i feel like this person has a lack of confidence as well three of wands in reverse six of wands in reverse is a lack of confidence <clears throat> this person has a lot of insecurities that they need to heal what is this three of wands in reverse with the six of wands in reverse travel plans have been delayed yeah king of cups in reverse yeah because they're too busy stuck on the path king of cups in reverse is literally a married man or woman in reverse somebody somebody's emotionally manipulative ways or their bullshit here didn't work their lies their deceit here somebody here was not emotionally ready for you or emotionally available yeah and that's why this shit failed here and now this person is jealous because you're moving on there's this emotionally emotional this king of cups in reverse is somebody that's emotional emotionally immature as well this person here just yeah mm -mm. what the fuck uh okay let me write something down aries before i forget please Or something down. Hold on. Okay. Sorry. So, yeah. Let me see. What's this King of Cups in reverse? Yeah. Two of Pentacles juggling. Can't make a decision. Their finances could be up and down as well, but this is them literally juggling two people. Can't make a decision. And that's why something is not progressing with you guys because this person is still stuck in the Three of Wands in reverse energy. There's something from the past that can't. They they can't they can't even see to the future and see how things will work out between you two because they're restricted by their circumstances. Here it could be money that's restricting them. The King of Cups could also mean that this person is repressing their emotions, their feelings. They're holding that shit in. Oh boy, what's the um four swords in reverse? Uh, what's this four swords right here? Okay, four of cups. You guys can be seeing four four four. What's the four swords with the four of cups in reverse? Okay, three of wands. So the three of wands right here is upright. So so now this person here, this is what the issue was. So now somebody here is getting up and doing something about whatever this is. The four of cups in reverse is literally, because somebody here has thought so much. They've been overthinking the situation or they've been, you know, just laying low and trying to get things right within their mind. But I feel like somebody now is getting up. Oh, this could be you. You could be the three wands upright and it's four cups in reverse. You're like, man, I'm tired of sitting here waiting for this person to get their shit together. You've been really, really thinking about what you should do here. And I feel like now you're getting up and you're moving forward. With the four with the three of wands here, you're you're looking into the future here. Okay, you know that there's more out here for you. All right, so let's see. What's this four cups in reverse? Four cups in reverse is literally literally the ending of stagnancy. What's this four cups in reverse? Yeah, seven of pentacles in reverse. So, yeah, tired of being patient, tired of, you know, th this has been delayed long enough or something here has been delayed. And now I feel like you're seeing why it's because this person has another lover. OK, you're the victim here. I feel like you did your part here. Yeah, the sun. And you're going towards your happiness with uh, Leo energy. You're going towards your happiness here. You guys can have a, another secret admirer, somebody that's watching you or whatever. But, yeah, you're saying that you're wasted your time here. Seven of Pentacles in reverse is literally wasted time. You're saying that um this would be a bad investment if you keep investing into this person it would not be good for you here it really would not what's this three of wands okay yeah ten of wands you dropping the burdens here in reverse you dropping burdens you letting this shit go that's your energy is what i'm feeling okay it could be your person but that's what i'm, I'm feeling like it's you here you feel like you've been a sucker you feel like you've been very foolish okay <laughs> You know what I'm saying? And people, you have to go through that to get to the next level, right? You know, you can sit in that bullshit. But as long as you're letting it go, you could just feel disappointed in yourself or investing in a situation where it didn't give you, yeah, judgment, making a final decision. Yeah, you're saying the truth now. It's a swords. So what's this moon right here for Aries? Yeah, the magician. Hmm. What's the moon with the magician? Could be done with the Virgo Gemini. Eight of Swords in Reverse. Yeah. 
So this could be your person too finally realizing that they're wasting their fucking time. They're investing in this situation here. They're dropping the burdens and letting it go and finally getting up and doing something about it. Okay, just flip the roles. All right. Um, Eight of Swords in Reverse is not being stuck or confined anymore here. Somebody here and someone's family could have been doing spell work too. They could have been doing this in secret, okay? Trying to weigh somebody down or stop them from coming towards you. So this person took their power back or you took your power back from a situation. What's this magician right here? What's the magician? Yeah, the fool in reverse. Could be in, dealing with an Aquarius. <clears throat> yeah, this is literally somebody making a foolish decision or foolish mistake here with the fool in reverse. That's stupidity. Okay, the fool in reverse could also mean fear of change here. Somebody's fearing something. They're definitely in fear. That's what this is. The fool in reverse is somebody is, is scared to take a risk here. So maybe this person could be trying to manifest you to come towards you so that way they can, you know, um, tell you that they want to take you on a date, but they want you to say something first, okay? <laughs> could be because they're too fearful to come towards you first. What's the eight of swords in reverse? Because they know you're not stuck on their ass no more. You're moving on. You're not stuck where you was before. Yeah, judgment coming out again. So yeah, some, there's a final decision being made. Ten of Pentacles, Queen of Wands, a strength card. Yeah, Nine of Pentacles. This is you, Queen of Wands. That's you. So this person has made a decision to come towards you and get out of their fucking head. But somebody has been stuck and keeping themselves stuck here. Somebody could have been doing spell work though. But so that's a final decision being made with the judgment. Somebody's going through an awakening and realizing that they've been keeping themselves stuck. Okay, especially if they're in the Eight of Swords in reverse. If that still work, it, that shit ain't working no more. So, whatever. But, yeah. I feel like somebody's really um in their feelings about the mistakes that they've made here with you. Knowing that you were their son, their happiness, their everything. And they fucking ruined it. What's this Ten of Pentacles for Aries? Okay, Eight of Cups. Yeah, walking away from a family situation. What's the Ten of Pentacles with the Eight of Cups? Yeah, the hermit. <laughs> Definitely ghosting something here. This person is scared, though. This person is scared to walk away from something because they're scared. They're fearing judgment from their family or their weird ass baby mama or baby daddy. Who gives a fuck? Why do you give a fuck about what somebody is saying? Okay, just period. But the Eight of Cups with the hermit right here with the Ten of Pentacles literally means somebody's trying to ghost the situation. Somebody is walking away from a family situation to really gain clarity on what they want for themselves. Because at first they were confused and they didn't know. So this person is in hermit mode right now. They're walking away, or this is you, whatever. Flip it, switch it. They're, somebody's walking away from a 10 of pentacles. Something that provided stability. And I feel like this person here was kind of like codependent. Somebody was codependent on someone else or their family or whatever. Okay. I feel like they're saying that when they walk away, they're going to get this 10 of pentacles. But they've been stuck in this situation for a long fucking time. Who are dealing with a Virgo? Or have Virgo somewhere in your chart? Yeah, somebody's not happy with whatever they built with someone else, it looks like. It just provided them some type of stability, maybe a roof over their head here or whatever. You know, but somebody's not happy here. And somebody's choosing their happiness over money. Good. And I feel like this person is scared, too, to walk away because they don't know how they're going to fend for themselves. Okay. So this person could be a bit younger than you. A bit immature. So what is the potential outcome, Spirit, for Aries? potential outcome for Aries please bottom of the deck we have yeah eight of swords mm. potential outcome for Aries so I feel like I feel like this is back and forth energy man yeah the lovers in reverse potential outcome for Aries the fool could be dealing with the Gemini or an Aquarius strong air energy Knight of Wands the devil the world so yeah, somebody here is toxic. Somebody's putting an ending to a Knight of Wands energy. Somebody that's a player, very in and out. You know, very sexually driven here. Somebody here doesn't know how to control their urges. Wherever they, their passion is or whatever they feel for that day, they're going to do it. <clears throat> no matter how you feel about it or whatever. But um, yeah, Eight of Swords with the full in reverse and the lovers. 
somebody's trust issues is getting in the way here with the lovers in reverse it definitely talks about distrust i mean mistrust and there's a, like discord or a disconnect between you and someone else somebody here i feel like they're finally going to take a risk but i just don't know when maybe maybe within eight weeks here with the eight of swords energy but somebody really really goes back and forth they overthink here i feel like somebody's left the family situation yes they walked away but now when it comes down to you and taking you out on a date and doing what they need to do for this relationship somebody's stuck because they're not trusting now they're not trusting they left this situation and they could have told you about this like you know but somebody here was being a loser they didn't fucking they weren't honest with you about what they were involved with they misjudged you <clears throat> to go fuck with somebody that was even more foolish okay that was that was just dumb so okay and um so this person here is going to take a leap of faith and finally take a risk but they got to get out of their head first with this eight of swords and who knows how long that's going to last there's definitely been a breakup between them and whoever it, it is that they were dealing with. And they're scared for this to come out or for you to find out about it. That's why they're fearful. I feel like they, you know, this person came in all confident and hot and ready and wherever else. But now they're scared. <laughs> they can't tell you the truth now. And I feel like you already know anyways. Clarify a little bit more when it involves um the spread spirit. Yeah, inner conflict. My world is chaotic right now. Can't seem to think straight. Yeah. So this person is going through a lot as well. What's going on? That's that Eight of Swords energy again. And I feel like you're the Eight of Swords in reverse. It says, yeah, new beginning. Let's forget about the past. Take a chance and start again. Then it says fatal event. I'm sorry for what I've done. There's not a whole lot I can say. Yeah, this person ain't got shit to say. Because they know that you already know anyways. And they know that you're going to want to hear them talk about the shit. And they're not going to want to talk about it. They want a new beginning with you. But they kind of like want to breeze over the shit that happened. It's like, no. <laughs> no. Be a man about it. Be a woman about it. Say what the fuck you did. Stop being a fucking punk. It says fights. I, if I fight with you, it's because I still care. Worry when I don't. Yeah, I feel like this is you. I feel like you've given up the fight. You're tired of fighting with this person. And now, they, they're, not, now they're seeing that you're not fighting with them anymore. You're not putting in any more effort into this situation. Just period. What else? And you made a final decision to walk away. You decided to get yourself unstuck. And it might have put a little bit of fear in you. Okay, because you, you know, I don't know. But it says rushing in. Yeah, I can't wait any longer. I'm making a move. Yeah, so this person is coming. Let's see. Choices. Trying to make the right choice so I don't have regrets tomorrow. <laughs> What's, what else? Perfect match. It says, we are a perfect match. Reason why our, why our fire burns so hot. Yeah, whatever. What else? Children. Children are important to me and it's affecting our connection. So yeah, they have a child with somebody here where their baby mama or baby daddy is being petty. I'm telling you. That's what it is. Yeah, reconciliation. Seeing you again reminds me that life is better with you in it. Bottom of the deck is rejection. Your rejection has been a catalyst for change. Yeah. Hot and cold. Yeah, rejection. Then we have control. Then we have hot and cold. So yeah, this person has been trying to control the situation with you by using manipulation tactics. They've been hot and cold. They come in and love bomb you. Then they walk back out. And now you're just like, okay, cool. I'm putting it into that and I'm going towards something else or just being by myself. You're not being bothered with the bullshit here. Because you're tired of the hot and cold behavior. Now that you pulled your energy back, they've gotten themselves together. And that shit is fucking annoying. You're a child still. Because why do I have to pull back for you to get yourself together? You know? It's just like, what the fuck? So let's get some guidance cards here for spread or for you, Aries. What, do you, what does Aries need to hear? Child, that shit gets sickening. And as a reader, I'll be getting tired of pulling on this stupid ass energy, to be honest. <laughs> and this is kind of like showing up in everybody's reading, really. It says out of sight. Yeah, believe it. Believe it before you see it. The hidden things of wisdom. Some things are best kept secret. I feel like this is like out of sight, out of mind. So the more you don't be with this person, the more you're going to go on about your business. But yeah, this person is scared of the unknown. It's telling this person to believe that things will work out before you see. I feel like they've been really scared. That's why they went back to somebody in the first place. Story unfolds. A confusing situation becomes clear. The story is coming a full circle. Things finally fall into place. Yeah. So 
here they come what else Owl spirit, look for the subtle signs around you. Uncover your hidden potential. You're wiser beyond your years. Most definitely. What else? Breakthrough. Expect unexpected twists and turns. Suddenly coming to fruition. Dissolving obstacles with ease. Then we have temperance. Yeah, definitely Sagittarius energy. What did I say about Sag? Brings balance into your life. Let the life force flow through you. Get your life back into order. Yeah, so something balancing out. What else? Fairies. Epiphany. You're experiencing new insights, working towards a brighter future. You're ready to accept reality. Mm -hmm. The moon. Something is not what it seems to be. I mean, something is not what it appears to be. What is hidden will soon be exposed. There is no clear answer at this time. Okay, and then we have in a bubble. Step outside your comfort zone. Don't live life in a bubble. Burst your bubble and start living. Bottom of the deck is conflict. Make conflict resolution a priority. Be selective with your battles. Know how to win gracefully. Yeah. So, guys, this was your reading, Aries. I hope everything works out on this end, you know. Some of y'all really want your person back. But it's just like, I just feel your energy. You've had enough. Enough is a fuck enough. Stop being a coward. Say what the fuck you got to say and stop running. Stop running because that's not how, how do you expect to do anything if you keep running? And then you expect somebody to be waiting on you. And then they, they fucked it up even further with the hot and cold energy because now you don't trust this person. Now they got trust issues and you definitely got trust issues. You're like, no, I don't know if you're going to do the same thing. So you're going to have to work really hard to get me back. You're going to have to work really, really hard to get me back because now I don't trust your ass. Who's to say you're not going to walk away again? It's annoying. Just straight up annoying. But anyways, Aries. So this was your reading, guys. I hope it resonated. Like, comment, subscribe, turn on your notification bell, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.